Hi everyone, my name is Zach Gravelin and today I'll be presenting a PowerPoint on the alcohol abuse and intergenerational trauma in Native American communities. The high use of alcohol in Native American communities can be attributed to the new discovery or influence of alcohol from European colonists. These colonists were able to supply the Native Americans with large amounts of alcohol from the very beginning. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, this stereotype has perpetrated the image that all Native American people are afflicted with alcohol problems. Even scientific inquiry, with its em emphasis on problem definition, has not focused on the vast number of Indian people who maintain sober and productive lives. 24% of American Indians and Alaska Natives age 12 or older reported binge drinking use in 2015. According to the American Psychiatric Association, historical trauma has been defined as cumulative emotional and psychological wounding over the lifespan and across generations emanating from massive group trauma experiences. Land disposition, forced relocation, epidemics, and forced assimilation and sterilization are just some examples of the collective losses they've experienced over time. In recent history, the Standing Rock Dakota Access Pipeline protests in 2016 raised awareness in mainstream America of the historical oppression, forced relocation, and land disposition experienced by indigenous people for centuries. In regards to geographic challenges, many indigenous people live in urban centers. They may have relocated to these areas for economic opportunities, but in the process may lose the cultural strength that comes from connection to the land. This may contribute to limited resources in terms of healthcare, mental health, education, and employment. Lastly, difficulties integrating traditional and modern lifestyles. Indigenous persons may struggle to achieve a comfortable balance between tribal traditions and the demands of contemporary life. Now, what, what sparked my interest? While I was reading There There, the author Tommy Orange connected a lot of characters together in many different ways. One of the ways he connected them was to alcohol. Almost every character in this book has some connection to alcohol, whether that's alcohol use or abuse that leads to trauma. I haven't taken a Native American history or literature class since high school. I remember learning how Europeans stole the land, massacred the Native Americans, and sent them to reservations against their will. These times in history created intergenerational trauma within the Native community. Reading about the Carlisle School during class really sparked my interest as well. In the past, when I did learn about Native American history, it was pretty brief. Up until taking this intro to Native American literature class, I didn't know anything about the Carlisle School. The Carlisle School was a Native American boarding school where the Native Americans were forced to change their names, cut their hair, and learn the English way. The government was trying to strip the Native Americans from their culture. This boarding school was another factor that influenced intergenerational trauma. In the novel There There, the author Tommy Orange puts a lot of emphasis on intergenerational trauma and alcohol abuse in the Native American, Native American community to bring awareness to these topics. One character in the book that caught my attention was Jackie. Jackie is a substance abuse counselor who is newly sober. She attends a conference in Albuquerque and has many occasions where she wants to relapse. When she got older, she ended up losing custody of her kids because of her drinking. Her trauma has influenced her ability to reconnect with her sons. One of the quotes from the book that I thought stood out to me was, there in the hotel room, down against the hotel room door, she remembered all the pictures Opal, which is her sister, had emailed her over the years of the boys, which she'd refused to look at. Here are some surprising statistics. These staggering numbers can be attributed to the generational trauma the Native Americans experienced in the past. The population of Native Americans have decreased by 95% from 1492 till 1776. Nearly a quarter of Native Americans report binge drinking in the past month. 10% of young Native Americans have an alcohol use disorder. And almost 20% of deaths among Native Americans are alcohol related.
Rehabilitation and more information. The American Addiction Centers have a self-assessment and they have facilities that specialize in addiction treatment. For further information, please visit my Works Cited page and use any one of the links I've provided. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation.